Hello there, how's it going? It's Matt here from Matt Cat Guitar and today's lesson is all about finger picking. So this is a great lesson if you already know a few chords but you want to develop some uh, more intricate kind of finger style techniques then stick around and I'll show you how to do that or some ideas anyway. So I'm going to use two chords at first. We're going to use the A minor and the C chord. And then on the right hand, as a general rule in finger picking, your thumb controls strings 4, 5 and 6. And strings 1, 2 and 3 are fingers 1, 2 and 3, but the other way around. So your third finger is on the first string, your second finger on the second string, and your first finger on the third string, like that and they should pick them strings like that. So whenever you're playing that string in a finger picking pattern, you should use the corresponding finger. So you've got bass, 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 first finger, second finger, third finger. Okay, so let's get the A minor card up. So first of all, we're gonna take your A minor and we're gonna go bass, on the fifth string and our first finger on the third string. So we've got bass, third. And then just try and bass, bass, bass. Okay, and then when you've mastered that, we're going to put the next note is going to be the fourth string. So your left hand's not moved at all, but you're going bass, third string. 4th string so it's thumb, 1st finger, thumb ok and the next note we can add in is our 2nd finger on the 2nd string which is that note so we've got bass, 1st, thumb, 2nd finger so you got so in terms of strings, it's 5, 3, 4, 2, 5, 3, 4, 2. And it's really important you use the correct fingers as I said, so it's thumb, first finger, thumb, second finger on strings 5, 3, 4, 2. So if you speed that up a little bit, you can start to hear a bit of a pattern. So it does take a while to get the fingers, the muscle memory down. But if you just sit there for five, ten minutes, you, you do you can notice your finger speed is speeding up a bit. Okay, and then we can take the C card and nothing changes on the right hand. So I'm doing the same finger pattern to the A minor and then to C and that's the first one to learn so on the right hand it is quite simple what you have to do the, the tricky bit is is teaching your fingers to do as they're told so the next one is more of a good exercise to train your fingers how to finger pick. So we'll use the same cards, this time we're going to go bass, string number 3, 2, 1. So bass, 3, 2, 1. And as you can see, I'm using my first finger, second finger and third finger for them three bottom strings. So I've got my thumb on the bass and then it's... Back to the A minor. That one's really good to train your fingers. Uh, the next one 
is going to be the, the last one I show you. It is, oh, it is one I played in the intro. It does have a pinching of two strings, which I'll explain now. So again, take the A minor. So on this one, we're going to go bass, and then I'm going to pinch the second and fourth strings. So I would use my second finger on the second string and the thumb on the fourth string and pinch them. Kind of press them in and, and let go. So I'm pressing them towards each other and then just letting go. So that comes after the bass. So you have bass, pinch, and then the next one is bass, three, four, two, which is the pattern we've just learned. So all we're doing is putting a bass pinch in front of the first pattern that I showed you. So you remember the first pattern was, okay. So all we do now is put a bass and the pinch in front of that and it should sound like this. Let's see. So I'll slow it down a bit. Bass, pinch, bass, three, four, two, bass, pinch, bass, three, four, two, bass, pinch, bass, three, four, two. And as you play it fast, you kind of lose the pattern feel. And that's it, that's all with two cards. The only other thing to remember, you can use this pattern on any card. Um, just all you got to do is work out where the bass note of that card is and then just swap it around. And you can always do the same strings with this hand apart from the bass note. So that concludes today's lesson. Uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers.